Joe Aiken, Senior Technical Manager with ArborJet. Uh, not too long ago, we uh, filmed the first segment on plugs or plugless, which seems to be a debate in the field of arbor culture, when to use an arbor plug and when to not. So since we already had that discussion, we're gonna step right into a proper setting of an arbor plug. Again, um, view the other taping of uh, when or when not to, and today we're gonna discuss setting a plug. So I have a few samples of, uh, we're gonna do a set of plug into, and I want you guys to see how I do it. Uh, maybe help you guys get a few pointers, what helps, uh, what doesn't help, and what to look for. So first and foremost, um, what is an arbor plug? An arbor plug is a plastic septum uh, device designed to create a check valve into the tree. So I kind of made a crude sketch. Uh, it has a rubber medical grade septum. It has two tapered barbs that are designed to tap into and, and seat into the xylem. And fluted legs, so once that this is set into the xylem, the chemistry can escape into the vascular system of the tree. So determining how many you need uh, per tree is based off of DBH. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, pest control and plant health care, so good DBH tape. Um, and then bounce it across the label. So once you get your DBH, uh, you know what tree you got. Here's a Siberian elm, uh, which is a great example. When I step around to the front, I'll show you exactly why. And one of the common problems that we have in setting a plug and I have a couple other discs I want to show you the difference in vascular systems. So uh, again, today, let's set a plug. So first and foremost, we talked about DBH and what plugs and what do you guys need uh, to determine that. Next, insect disease, what are you treating for? So proper ID, proper ID pest management. We got the DBH. We decided that trunk injection is the method of uh, choice for this uh, problem we're having with the tree. So first of all, I have to determine uh, where I'm gonna put these in. And why that's important is uh, helping with your injection is making sure you have the right vascular system that you're setting a plug into. So here's a pretty cool sample of a disc that I was very fortunate to come across. Um, the tree was under treatment was taken down to a construction project and I asked the arborist that was managing that property to save that for me. As you can see, uh, this is a proper plug setting, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years ago. And that's one of the things, what happens to the arbor plug. So here's a perfect example of how the next annual growth ring, if set properly, grows right over that through part of compartmentalization. So you can see there's an arbor plug eight years ago and there's the growth on that tree. And if you were to look on the outside of this bark, uh, you can't even tell where that tree was injected. So again, what happens to an arbor plug? It becomes history of the tree. As we look at growth rings, we can tell what hap where it was happening during those growth periods. And arbor plug is no different. So a very neat piece. Another thing is the thickness of bark. When we go over drilling into the vascular system of the tree, understanding the thickness of the bark, inner bark phloem is very important when setting a plug. Ash tree, pretty cool, eight years later. Next, uh, I wanted to pull a different sample, and I hit this one with a planer. I wanted you guys to see where, when we're looking at the base of a tree, where we're gonna put it, we always talk about right around where the root flares are because you've got good vascular flow. And not only because of the, 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 the raised root flare, if you look, you can actually see in a valley on a tree, you can see how the annual growth rings actually compress. Tension wood, compression wood. So in those valleys is very tight, therefore very slow injection. And you can also see is that the bark thickness, another question that I get a lot is can I just put a depth gauge on the drill and just drill all the way around? Uh, nursery setting, probably, but on your day to day, you really don't need to do that because it's not gonna be very effective because as you can see, as you go around inspecting the vascular system, the differences flex. 
thicker bark, less xylem, and back and forth. So you may miss the sweet spot when you're setting the plug if you uh, aren't looking for the ridges to inset your arbor plugs on. Another great example of the vascular system of a tree. Next, the Siberian elm. There's a little spider, we'll let him go. Uh, another thing is that uh, a lot of guys will drill and set the plug till you just start to see a little bit of the white of the first xylem. And on this tree is a perfect example of are you sure that what you're looking at when you start to see white is the actual xylem, xylem and not the inner bark. So if you look at this tree right here, and I'll kind of, that's the cambium right there. That's a one cell, two cell wall thickness vascular system where cells are dividing. On this specific sample, you can see that there's still a quarter inch of white inner bark that could throw you off on how far to set your plug. You need to actually access the xylem. So you need to go a little bit farther and set your plug a little bit deeper into the tree. Again, drilling on a ridge, why go through all that bark? So if you were to drill on this ridge to access the xylem in this tree, you're talking approximately one and three quarter inches into the tree and that's how far your plug has to be set. So I will locate a valley on the bark and the opposite of that is and that's about three quarters of an inch. So you lose an inch of depth for that arbor plug. In a valley on your tree and, and looking for the correct uh, color of the xylem when you pull it out. All right. Perfect example of three different types of trees and vascular systems. Next, we obviously we have this, uh, an elm tree. It's got leaf miner. We're gonna treat it with an insecticide. So I check the label, how many injection sites, how many plugs I have to put in there. The very first thing that I'll do uh, when determining the thickness of the bark, because you're not gonna have a sample like this that's wide open and say, oh, the bark's the inch and three quarter. You're gonna have to determine that and you can determine it with your drill bit. Quality drill bit, double helix, brad point bit for woodworking, make sure it's sharp. The very first thing I'll do, find a spot where I'm going to inject with very little pressure on my drill. It actually will pull through all the soft tissue and stop right at the cambium, right at your first annual growth ring. There is a difference in density between all the bark, inner bark and phloem compared to the xylem. To take a peek, I can pull my drill bit out. Take a look. But today for you, I'll take a set tool, and you can do this on the field. I'm gonna just kind of put it in there, mark it with my finger. It's about a half inch. So when I come back and I start to set this plug, I know that I have to get it in. Um, the surface of this arbor plug, again, remember, rubber separate taper barbs, this part right here, that last barb, should be tapped into the xylem. So, from that point forward, set tool, I have an arbor plug. Now I'm going to drill into the xylem, so I know my thickness of bark. So from there, inch, inch and a half in, depending on the tree, tree species, what you're treating for. What I would do on a deciduous tree, I would probably go around and put all my injection sites. I call it flagging, set that plug in the hole, I can kneel around, I can see where my next one is. Space them as equally as possible. Uh, again, sometimes it's hard depending on the site where you're at or type of tree or has there been any injury on the tree. Next, um, set tool over the top of the arbor plug. And what I want you guys to listen for is, um, I, I keep the hatchet in there because if there's ever any sucker or anything around, um, I could top them off real quick. But I like the metal on the plastic uh, because you can hear a tone change. And I'm hoping the camera and the mics pick this up. So I'm going to tap this into the correct depth. And I want you to listen as the arbor plugs, the barbs, start to hit the, come in contact with the xylem. You hear the difference? So now that the, these barbs right here are tapered as they get bigger to the surface, the face. Get it in there. You can feel the difference and you can hear the difference. That way you know that when you set that arbor plug in the xylem, it's solid, it's in there. Now you can apply your pesticide without worrying about any cambial separation. Again, going through this, number of plugs is based off the label and the rate, and how many mils per injection site. 
And just for uh, demonstration purposes, right through the center of the arbor plug, one, two. You can start to see that the product's being infused into the xylem. So now, as the tree transpires, all the compound that we put in here, all the way around the base of the tree, is moving up the tree through transpirational pull. Pull it out, rubber septum self seals. I can move to my next injection site, administer the product according to label, 10 mils. You really can't see it, it's pouring out the top of the tree. And your injection is complete. Again, that arbor plug stays in the tree and eventually becomes the history of the tree. That's the quick and skinny on how to set an arbor plug. If you have any questions or comments whatsoever, please reach out to me, ArborJet, or your regional technical manager for any more assistance. Again, ArborJet Joe from the studio, setting a plug. Have a good day, be safe, and if you need me, let me know. Thank you.